little help here. Oh, no! I will buzz you in when we are done. Hi, I'm here to audition for The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Congrats, you are the first in line. Um, actually, you seem to be the only one in line. Yeah, I must be early. Bye. Well, step forward and we can process your application. Application? Yes. You should have a properly completed application and release form. Oh, right. Now I just have to remember where I put it. Let's see. Did I put it in my pocket? Nope. Maybe I put it in my shoe for safekeeping. Hmm. Maybe I should check my... Oh, for crying out loud. Will you just come over here already? Okay, even though you don't have your application, I'll make an exception just this once. You are so nice! Trust me, you won't be sorry! When I become a famous actor, I'll be sure to thank all the little fishes that helped me rise to the top! Yeah, well, whatever you say. Right this way, mister. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants! That has got to be the worst stage name I have ever heard. Okay, Mr. Squarepants, the producer, Gil Hammerstein, will be waiting for you past the door. I'm buzzing you in right now. You shouldn't keep Mr. Hammerstein waiting. He's right beyond the door and I've buzzed you in already. Buzzing is the most important responsibility a receptionist has. So please, move along. I'm going in right now. I just wanted to get the butterflies in my stomach to calm down a little. No! I only do studio filming, you crawfish! Filming on location is for chum heads that can't act their way out of a fishbowl! Have you seen The Last Ocean Wars? Ah! No! I'm upset! Um, hello. I. What? No, oh, nothing. I'm busy right now. Let's do lunch. Who are you? I'm SpongeBob SquarePants, and I'm here to audition for The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That is the worst stage name I have ever heard. Anyway, sorry, kid. The show's officially been canceled. What? Why? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are the most beloved superheroes of all time. Well, that may be, kid, but I can't film a TV show without any supporting actors. And none showed up today to audition. Well, besides you. I know lots of people that would love to be in this show. That's great, kid. But audiences these days want big name actors, amazing special effects, and horrible scripts. Well, our script is horrible, but that's the only thing we got going for us. Mr. Hammerstein, I could get a full cast together in no time. I have lots of friends all over Bikini Bottom. I know you'd have to take a risk to rely on me. I work in television, kid. I never take risks. But I am desperate. Maybe you got something here, kid. Yeah, yeah, I like it! Okay, kid, to go on with this crazy plan, we're gonna need a bunch of actors. So take this playbill and get out there and find some. Oh yeah! If you find any interesting props for the show, bring those back too! The bigger, the better! Woo! You should probably talk to the stars too! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are just outside my office! Oh my gosh! 
I get to meet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Yeah, sure. Now get out of here and get to work. You're beautiful! Well, what are you gonna do? Like I said, kid, I'm a producer. It's my job not to do anything and look busy doing it. Hello, checker lady. Shh, shh, shh. Don't disturb me. This is an important move, Sonny. Checkers! Oh, can I play? Not yet. I'm still working on my strategy. Okay, I'll check back later. Bye! Checkers! Oh, can I play? Yes! It's like a leapfrog game. Oh, oh, I'm what? so sorry, honey. What are you up to? Oh, look. It's like a leapfrog game. Boing, boing. How much more of this do I have to stuff us through? <laughs> Ice elephant <laughs> only <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> smell a faint odor of tapioca. Hooray! That's it! I'm out of here! You are impossible! Oh, she left in a hurry. Must be nap time. Checkers is a top game to master. It sure is, but you're pretty advanced for a kid your age. Hey, right back at ya. Would you like to be in a TV show that isn't afraid to go out on a limb and hire an elderly cast? Sure, but who are you calling elderly? Hi again. Shh! This is an important move. Oh my gosh, it's really them! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That's great, kid. Now, if you don't mind, get out of the way. You're blocking our view of the TV. Barnacle boy, that's no way to treat our young hero in training. I have so much to do before filming can begin on the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Do you think I can ask you guys a few questions to help steer me in the right direction? Ask away. Just be sure to speak loud enough. I can't hear too well anymore. I can show this save? I mean, save this show? Well, now, sure you can, you little whippersnapper. In all my years, I don't think I've ever met such an energetic kid. Well, besides Barnacle Boy, of course. Thanks. I feel more confident already. But I'm actually not a snapper. I'm a SpongeBob. What kind of actors should I look for? Well, kid, to make a good TV show, you need all kinds of characters. He's right. You need heroes, villains, and a screaming woman or two. Do you think I could see the Mermalair? Sorry, the Mermalair is for the International Justice League of Super Acquaintances only. Sad to say that he's not kidding, kiddo. Ooh, I rhymed. Kind of. I know crime fighting has a lot to do with research, but shouldn't you two be out fighting evil? Evil! Oh, no. Now you went and got him all riled up. Evil! Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get working on the show. Bye! Do you know where the remote is, Barnacle Boy? You had it last, you old coot. I saw you drop it down between the seat cushions during your midday nap. Dag nabbit, it must have went down the super secret entrance to the Mermalair. If that old blowfish is ever gonna get up and let us have a chance to play. Anxious to resume your learning of the game, my young ward? Yeah, sure. You read my mind. I can read minds. I 
Wish I'd known about that power before. It would have come in handy lots of times. I hope they're serving meatloaf today. They serve meatloaf every day. Oh, right. We should probably get in the lunch line then. It's only 7 a.m. All of you youngsters are procrastinators these days. You know, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy would really like to play a game of checkers right now. Why should I care? When you're as old as I am, you gotta have a really good reason to get up from a seated position. Um, is there any way you could get up to let them play? I am a bit hungry, Sonny, but I'll only get up for my favorite meal. Hey, do you know what's being served in the cafeteria right now? No. Is lunch being served early today? Oh, yes, to celebrate, um, National Meatloaf Day. Meatloaf? I love meatloaf. Well, you better go get in the lunch line, then. There you go. Toodaloo. King me. You haven't even made your first move yet, you old coot. You bet I haven't. This here is a thinking man's game. Oh, they look busy. Besides, now is my chance to head down into the mermelair. Yikes! Ooh. Sure is a good thing that I'm an invertebrate. Whoa, I can't believe it! I'm really in the mermelair. I can't wait to snoop. Oop, I mean, look around. Wow! The Super Sea Urchin D Scrambler. Superheroes have all the cool toys. When justice needs a hand, uh, use this machine. for the moment, but if you must, please continue. Nobody could fight Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy the way you did. Thank you, thank you. The importance of villainy is often overlooked, but the day of reckoning is at hand. You know, I'm helping 
going to cast the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Have you ever played a supervillain? Would you like to, uh... No! I'm through making those fools look good! <laughs> now, I am ready to escape this cave and begin my revenge! You cannot stop me! <laughs> I have to catch him! I bet he's headed for the exit! I really don't want to go in there again. Melted tartar sauce just isn't that appealing. It is useless to pursue me, boy! My wrath cannot be caged any longer! <laughs> He's so amazing! I have to find some way to stop him! And convince him to be in the show! Your chase continues, foolish child! You do not possess the power to stop me! <laughs> oh no, I'm running out of chances! Mm. Wait a second, if I remember correctly, in episode 17 of the Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, aha! They used the tickle belt on him! The time has come! Finally, my rage will be released unto the world! All I have to do is walk out the door. Ouch! What is this? Some type of force field prevents my path to the door. No! I will not be defeated by such a worn-out cliché! I must remove it! Hmm. The invisible boatmobile must be blocking his way. Now's my chance! I can't open the door now! If I do that, Man Ray will get away! While he's trying to move the invisible boatmobile, I should go find the pickle belt! Here goes nothing! And... Activate Tickle! What... what is this? <laughs> Stop! No! No! Stop! <laughs> Man Ray, baby, I really want you to reconsider being in my show. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just have to leave you there then. No! <laughs> Wait! I'll... I'll be in the show for you, baby, Dora. Okay then. some dignity before I fully submit to your wishes. These tirades are pretty awesome, huh? This button must open the door. Ignition started. All systems go. Oh, no.
everybody! Boy, am I having an exciting day. What are you up to? Hey, SpongeBob. I just finished setting up my new business. Oh, yeah? What's the business? Well, let me be the first to welcome you to the all-new Starfish Lemonade. A cup a day keeps your thirst away. Where did you get the stuff to build this stand? Oh, I, uh, borrowed it from the dumpster behind the Krusty Krab. Can you believe Old Man Krabs would actually throw this stuff away? Can I have a cup of your lemonade? What size do you want? Regular, huge, super, or mega? Oh, I just realized I don't have any money, so I can't buy any. No big deal, pal. Every size is free, except mega. Um, Patrick? Why would anyone pay for a mega size cup when they could just order a regular one for free? Uh... Okay, I'll take a regular cup then. Okay, coming right up. Oh, barnacles. Sorry, SpongeBob, I only have mega sized cups. But if you get 25 cents, just come back. Gone to Tentacle Acres. Good riddance. This is signed by Squidward. Where is Tentacle Acres anyway? Now just relax, Mr. Krabs. Getting yourself upset is just not going to help. Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one whose life it's just been ruined. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? I'd like to tell you, me boy, but it's just too horrible to put into words. Oh, no. What is it? Is the Krusty Krab closing down? No. Did a customer find a scale in the galley grub again? It's much worse, lad. <gasps> I can't take it anymore. What is it? All right, I'll tell you. But I'm warning you, this news ain't for the faint of heart. I... I, I can't count me money anymore! Oh. I told you it was terrible, boy! Now please, let me alone. Your youthful energy is just too much for this old crab to bear. I tell you, lad, please, leave me be. Hi, are you a doctor? Yes, and I'm attending to my patient right now. If you need anything, please ask me quickly. Why can't Mr. Krabs count money anymore? Unfortunately, Mr. Krabs is suffering from a rare condition called Greedius Crustaceanus Tuchipus, better known as Kloppel Tunnel Syndrome. Is there anything I can do to help Mr. Krabs? Only the royal fry cook who wields the golden spatula can create a patty pure enough to cure Mr. Krabs. Where can I find the golden spatula? The golden spatula can be found at the Fry Cooks Museum here in Bikini Bottom. But... But, 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 but what? Well, you should go see for yourself. Do you usually make house uh, business calls? Are you kidding? I hardly even spend time with the patients that come into my office. I was on my lunch break when this cheapskate pulled me in here. I'm obligated to treat anyone in need due to the shrimpocratic oath. I have to attend to my patient. My fry grill is like an artist's canvas for creating mouth-watering masterpieces. The Krusty Krab is always well stocked. I wonder what's in here. Money, money, money. Business has been pretty slow. Do you have the 25 cents yet? I'll take one mega cup of lemonade. Woohoo! My first customer!
Whoa, that was serious stuff. Oh, darn it. What's the matter? That was great lemonade. This business is gonna be a hit. I forgot to get more cups, though. That was my last, oh, my only one. Well, I guess I'm going out of business. Good for you! Well, now that you're out of a job, would you like to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Oh, would I ever? Great! I just know you'll be a big star! I, I, I... Hey, watch it! I know I'm a little out of shape right now. Well, no need to rub it in. Oh, I hope I still fit in my Barnacle Boy costume. I'll see you over on the set, pal! Hey there! You look like a growing boy. Wanna buy a weenie to help you get big and strong? Isn't this the Fry Cook Museum? Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, business is really slow these days. Besides, the weenie, although often overlooked, is a cornerstone of the fast food market. Nice hat! Didn't your parents teach you not to mock people? No, no, I really do like your hat. Oh, well, thanks. Hey, this may sound a little strange, but how would you like to be in a TV show? Well, that would be great, but I have all these weenies I have to sell. No problem. Everyone on set will be hungry. I bet they'd love some weenies. Really? Well, uh, could I wear my hat in the show? I hope that you do. Great! Sign me up! They're getting hungry over on the set. I'll get over there just as soon as I pack up here. The first jumbo patty! Truly a historic artifact. Oh, the endless ketchup vat! This helped end the Great Condiment Depression. The father of all fry cooks, the great Krusty McPatty. Oh, he was a brilliant and talented man. Not so fast, pal. You have to talk to me if you want to get any closer. Hey, hold it right there, buddy. Only official fry cooks can attempt to pull the golden spatula out of the vat of ancient Greece. But I am a fry cook, and I need that spatula to help a friend of mine. Yeah, sure, kid. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you can answer some questions, I'll let you try. It's not like some kid could ever pull the golden spatula out, right? Okay, ready? You betcha! Are you a fry cook? Uh, yeah, I already told you that. No, oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, next. Where do you work? The Krusty Krab, of course! Ah, oh, the finest establishment in Bikini Bottom. Maybe you are for real. Let's see. Who is your boss? My boss is Mr. Eugene Krabs, the most generous crustacean in all of Bikini Bottom. <laughs> generous! <laughs> okay then, you're almost done. What makes the Krusty Krab so famous? The Krabby Patty. Nothing can rival the delicious might of this amazing fast food delicacy. Mm -hmm. Now I'm hungry. Finally, how is a Krabby Patty correctly put together? Bottom bun, patty, ketchup, mustard, pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese, tomato, top bun. In that order. Unbelievable! You may be the one! 
Now that you passed my test, feel free to try your luck up on the podium. Whoso pulleth out that spatula from that vat of ancient Greece is rightwise dubbed the Royal Fry Cook. Your job is pretty much done here. Would you like to be on the new adventures of Mermaid Bamp? You are the one, the royal fry cook. My will is yours to command. Um, great. They're waiting for you on set. I shall go at once, my lord. The maiden of the sea. What a delicious patty! I can count again. I'm cured. I could always count on you, laddie. I'd give you a raise, but I wouldn't want to cheapen your heroic deeds. <clears throat> no need to cheapen my services either. You'll receive my bill in the mail. Ah, you're all the same. One minute you're cuddling me like a wee babe, and later you're sticking a gaff in me side. Mr. Krabs, how would you like to be rich and famous? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm already both those things, me boy. Well, I mean, you, you can never be too rich. Exactly. Want to be in a television show? Actors get paid tons of money. That's music to me ears, lad. I'll follow the smell of money over to the set. Excellent. Time is money, boy. So stop wasting mine. How would you like to be an actor on television? I'm a doctor, not an actor. I'd say you're dramatic enough to be an actor. Will I have to work any harder than I did here? No. And boy, are you a natural at acting like a doctor. Bye. OK, I'll do it. Terrific. I need a descaler. Stat. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm practicing for the show. Thank <laughs> you. 